my name is Leah. I am a dancer and choreographer in Los Angeles, and I am stuck in my home, just like all of you, and been thinking a lot about how my body is acting differently now that I'm in these kind of different situations. Um, and I've been doing some improvisation work about it and I'd like to actually bring in more people into this practice and I am hoping to make a dance film about living in a quarantine or in a social distancing state and um, I'm inviting you to join me. So what I've come up with is um, a composition structure. This is suitable for dancers of all kinds or just even if you're not a dancer you can totally do it. So what I've done is separated the alphabet into five different parts and then for each chunk of the alphabet I've got a different movement quality that I've been discovering in my body as I've lived in a world of social distancing. What I'd like you to do is spell your name by using these different movement qualities. Depending on how long your name is, you might wanna take just the first part of it, um, or if you have a short name, you could spell your first and last name. So I will demonstrate those qualities for you. I'm gonna put up a cheat sheet at the end of this video um, so that you can kind of remember what I've said. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, please contact me. This is super free form and there's really no strict rules about it. And it's gonna turn into a bunch of different things. And I'm really excited to see what everyone makes. Um, so let's start with the first section of the alphabet. So for the section of the alphabet that is A through F, you're gonna be doing the movement quality of washing your hands. So this is creating friction with your hands, between your hands and with your hands and other parts of your body. Um, I think of the word vigorous a lot because I keep hearing vigorously washing your hands. Um, and some of the quality of this is, is a little bit anxiety producing. Um, there's a lot of haste in this, it's very intense. Um, and you are thinking of washing your hands if you're gonna be spelling with the letters A through F. For the next section of the alphabet, G through K, the prompt is scrolling on your phone so you've got your hands in front of your face and your hands are leading you. And I really want you to let your hands surprise you and just follow your hands wherever it is they decide to go. Try not to think too much about where your hands are going. They will go somewhere and you just have to follow it. The bottom half of your body is really just trying to stabilize and keep up with you. You might get very dizzy during this, that would be great. Um, and I think it's very low energy. It's kind of mindless, similar to what scrolling on your phone might turn into, especially when you're doing it for long periods of time. So if you're spelling from G through K, this is the quality that you'll be using. For L through P, this is waiting in line at the grocery store, which is a new thing that we have to do now. Um, and what I'm thinking about here is being very angular, very bony, sharp, creating lines in my body, being very purposeful with where I'm placing my limbs and where I am in space. I'm moving forward and backwards only, um, as if you were in a toaster slot or in like a window pane. So you're in a very tight corridor that you can move in. And I feel like some of the quality here is slightly boring, but there's also a sense of anticipation. So if you're spelling with L through P, you're waiting in line at the grocery store. If your letter is between Q and U, you're watching TV. So think about gluing the front of your face to an imaginary TV screen and your face really kind of stays still while your body is itching to go somewhere else, um, but you're kind of stuck staring at this TV screen. You've got this crunch in your neck and really tense shoulders because that's what happens when we watch TV for too long. Um, and you might think of like your favorite Netflix show that you've been binging. Um, I think what I'm thinking about here is watching the news, which also creates a lot of anxiety and tenseness in my neck. Um, and your lower body is really trying to get out of this and to move, but your head is very stuck in space. So this is for Q through U is watching TV. And for the last part of the alphabet, V through Z, this is being alone and craving human touch. So I want you to think about being careful as in being full of care and having a lot of tenderness and patience in your palms as you touch your body and give your body the human touch that it might be craving if you're social distancing alone. Um, there's a sense of release and also relief, uh, but it's still somewhat tentative. Um, it's still, it's kind of uh, something that is currently not allowed, so it's slightly hesitant. 
um, but there's still a lot of relief in it, a lot of comfort. So this is V through Z, being alone and craving human touch. So a few other things to note. Um, when you're transitioning between the letters, I want you to transition purposefully. So you can transition however you want, and it can be as fast or as slow as you want, but when you're transitioning from one quality to the other, just whatever you choose to do, do it on purpose. Um, if you can send a video that's 30 seconds or more, that would be great. It can be as long as you want it to be, but know that I will edit it. Um, and I will send it to all of you to make sure you're good with what I've put in before it goes out into the public. Um, try to film it horizontally, just like this video. You can film it on your phone, that's totally fine, or on your laptop or iPad or a good camera, whatever you've got. And if you can, film it outside. I think it will just look nicer when we've got all these videos together that are outside, outdoors. Um, but you know, be safe, don't go anywhere public. Like if you have a driveway or a, you know, right in front of your house um, or backyard or wherever you can be. And if it's not outside, it's not the end of the world. Um, and also you don't need to choreograph it, um, but I do recommend that you kind of plan it ahead of time uh, so that it doesn't take you by surprise. Um, and this is kind of a way to introduce yourself to me and to everyone who might watch this video and a way to show us how your body has been feeling during all of this. Um, so thank you all. I really am so excited to see what this turns into. Um, and if you have any questions, you can contact me. Uh, so just email me your videos and I can't wait. Thanks for dancing with me. So here's an example of me spelling my name. This is a short version. I'm doing really energetic movement here, but I encourage you to find other ways of doing it. Um, maybe you're sitting in a chair or like maybe you're more energetic and you're running around and jumping. Um, maybe it's just your fingers, maybe it's just your feet. Get really creative um, and just be true to how your body is actually feeling during all of this. Um, this is an exercise in really taking stock and uh, taking inventory about what we are feeling. Um, and that's kind of the whole point of this video. So also here is the cheat sheet. Um, just pause the video here so you can refer back to it and you don't have to watch this long video over and over. Thank you guys again and I really can't wait to see what you create.